Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about what is reconciliation models. The process of cross matching the bank account details with the cash transaction detail is known as reconciliation process. Okay, this process will help the account wings to easily track any error in the entries and it also helps to assure the transparency in the transactions. So you can ensure the accuracy in transaction with this and Odo basically provide three types of reconciliation model. In order to manage the reconciliation model, just go to the accounting module and under configuration, you can see reconciliation model and the window shows the already created or already configured reconciliation models. In order to create a new reconciliation model, just go to new and or click on new uh, button and you can see a window is triggered here uh, in order to create the reconciliation model. So we have three types of reconciliation model that is we can create uh, or generate a button to generate the counterpart entry and we can also use a role to such as the counterpart entry and the last one is role to match the invoices of the so let's check in detail and let me give the name of the uh, field as discount so the name of the button will be discount so we are generating a button to set the discounts we know that discount is a form of loss for the user so here we can use the account as uh, discount loss account cash discount close so once you choose the account here the amount type and amount will be automatically configured and the amount type will be calculated on the basis of percentage of balance and you can set the amount uh, of discount in percentage right so um, i'm sitting here uh, calculating or considering the percentage uh, in 100 percentage so so once you're giving discount you will be providing 100 percentage of uh, discount okay so let me save this and let's go to customers and we need to create a new invoice so let's use uh, a new customer let the name of the customer be uh, yeah Jareen and let's create new customer okay now let's save the customer and uh, you can choose the product here so i'm choosing customizable desk as a product and the price of the product is 750 so let me change this to thousand yeah now let's save and confirm this now what you have to do is we need to create a statement so for that uh, you have to go to dashboard under dashboard you can see bank and click on reconcile now let's create a bank statement so we have to create a bank statement before that we need to copy and the invoice reference so here we need to get the invoice reference let me copy the invoice reference and let's go to the dashboard and choose the bank and create a bank statement for that just click on new and here we have to give the label as the uh, the reference number and let me change the suffix as b n k and here you can choose the uh, partner that is the partner in the that is the customer in the invoice so here you can set uh, the discounted amount so I'm letting the amount to be 800 and uh, let me save this so once you uh, create the statement it will be visible here and you can choose the uh, statement as well as you can choose the invoice and uh, yeah choose the 
a statement and you can choose the invoice so once you choose a statement and invoice you can see that uh the discounted amount uh, is uh is uh, shown here and um uh, let's click on validate i mean you can uh, see a discount button so in order to set the discount for this you have to click on the discount button so let me click on the before uh, clicking that you have to go to uh, manual operations and need to change the amount into a, the original amount that is thousand is the original amount now let me click on the discount and here you can see that we have given the customer uh, $200 as the uh, discount and you can click on validate so once you click on validate and when you go to the customer invoices you can see that um, after matching the invoice as well as the statement um, the invoice will be moved into the paid state okay now let's go to configuration and select reconciliation model and let's discuss about the second bank so for that let me give bank fees as the name of rule to such as the counterpart entry and if you want to auto validate this you can uh, enable uh, the option auto validate and here you can also specify the journals availability amount uh, type amount conditions and we can set the label so let me set the label as contains fees and if you want to set the notes you can also uh, give such uh, options and let me choose uh, the partner and let me give the partner name as so let me create a new partner Tim Tom be the partner and here you can set the bank so bank fees bank fees will be a fixed amount so you can choose the uh, type as fixed and letting the uh, amount as 100 or you can set 50 so 50 dollar is the amount as as we consider as the bank fees now go to the customers and choose invoices and create a invoice for the customer Tim Tom now choose a customer and you can add a product let me choose a product that is storage box with the product and let me uh, change the value of the product to be hundred dollar and let me save this and confirm this and you can click on yeah register payment and uh, just create payment so this has moved into in payment now we need to create a bank statement and after the reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank so in order to the do the reconciliation go to dashboard and choose bank for that uh, now we need to create a statement and here we have to give the label as fees so what you have given in the um, I mean in the reconciliation model as the label you have to specify it over here and you can choose the uh, partner that is Tim Tom and you can choose the amount so here you have to uh, consider the amount as 150 because 100 is the uh, price that you have given in the invoice and 50 is the bank fee so here you have to add both the amount and have to give in this uh, amount field and now let me save and close this now once you choose uh, the amount you can see that once you choose the uh, yeah bank statement you can see that the bank fees will be automatically suggested by Odoo. Now you can click on validate button and let's go to customer invoices and uh, you can see that after reconciliation it will be moving into the uh, payment state or paid state. Now let's go to the configuration settings and discuss about the third method that is 
Role to match invoice or bill is used to search the oldest uh, bill or uh, invoices and has hasn't made the transaction till the date. Okay, so in such cases, we use the uh, third type of reconciliation <clears throat> model, and here you can uh, give the name of the uh, reconciliation model. So let the name of the reconciliation model be invoice matching. And you can also enable auto validate. And let me uh, set a search month limit. So I'm searching for three uh, month old invoice and setting the matching order as oldest first. And you can also give the journal availability, amount type, amount condition, payment tolerance, and uh, same uh, currency and uh, match invoice or bill label uh, so let me uh, set the label contains invoice and uh, let me set a partner so let me set the partner as John now let me create the partner and save this after that save the reconciliation model we have to create an invoice so let's click on view and you can choose uh, the customer in the model so John is the customer and here you have to set an invoice date that is three months old so I'm setting the uh, invoice date as 31st uh, December 2022 and you can choose a product over here let it be large desk and let me remove the tags so the price of the product is a uh, thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollar now here you need to uh, know the date copy the date and let me save this and uh, let's confirm and let's click on register payment so we haven't made the payment now the uh, invoice need to be paid now let's go to dashboard and click on reconcile to create a bank statement and here you have to change the date and choose the date in the invoice and here you have to give the label in the model so let's choose a partner in the invoice and the amount that to be should is $1799 or let me save this and here you can see that the bank statement has created now choose the bank statement and also choose the uh, yeah you can choose the uh, the invoice and uh, just click on validate button and when you go to customers and invoices you can see that after Yeah, it's still in payment. So let's go to the dashboard and let's check for the statement. Remove the filter and you can check for the statement. Statement is with, yeah, here you can see the statement and let's click on to check here you can check the statement set as check and uh, let's go to customer invoices You can choose the amount and you can choose the statement. Click on validate. Now let's go to customer invoices and check. Yeah, so now after reconciliation, the payment has moved to the bank.
So this is how Odoo managed the reconciliation model. So hope this concept is clear for everyone. Uh, so if you have any doubt regarding reconciliation model, please do uh, give a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.